<sighs> oh my god, hey. It is just after five o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've been asleep for maybe four hours, probably just less. Um, but I don't care because we've just woken up to head into the airport to get a flight to go to New York for the very first time. So we are at a hotel at Heathrow. My hair looks ridiculous. I had a shower when we got here last night. So, ooh, someone's alive. Uh, so we wouldn't have to, um, so I wouldn't have to have one this morning. So I could just roll out of bed and get dressed, which is what I've done. I'm wearing my Amelie t-shirt because it's green and it's St. Patrick's Day. Um, and we're landing in New York on St. Patrick's Day. But also, I think it was Krispy Kreme. There was somewhere I was reading, they're gonna give you something for free if you're wearing green. And so this is like a statement of solidarity, of cultural significance, but also free donut, I think. So, <laughs> Emily. Emily for St. Patrick's Day in the US. There you go. Um, but yeah, we stayed at a hotel uh, last night near the airport because the flight is very early. Well, the flight's not very, the flight's at 9 a.m. Um, but they say you should get there early for international flights. So, um, pays to be prepared. We figured. Aaron, how are you feeling? I have an easier sleep, so I'm a bit like, uh, <laughs> but um, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of one of those now, but you know when you're up and you're like, it's happening. Mm -hmm. I just want to be like, I want this bit now to, like, I want us to have flown. Yeah, not, I hate this not bit. Not be flying. I hate this bit. But anyway, I'm going to put you down because I want to head into the airport because then maybe I'll feel slightly more prepared. <laughs> what up, everybody? I'm feeling good because we have made it through security and we are in the departure lounge at Heathrow, ready to fly. We're flying with Virgin today with Virgin Atlantic and <laughs> they do say to arrive three hours early for an international flight. As it happens, our gate will not be displayed for another hour and a half um, and our flight is not for two and a half hours. So we got here and we did everything in half an hour, yeah. basically, which is good. But with queues, with the slightest thing going wrong, with security, you know, anything could happen. So pays to be prepared. But I'm very happy because <laughs> we've found the right place We've dropped our bags, we've done security, and now we can explore the airport. I don't think I've ever been to Heathrow Airport before. If it was, it was when I was a child. No, I haven't. So we're gonna do some exploring, but also we need hydration, we need a water. There's a Cafe Nero here. We're gonna get some waters. Yeah. We're chilling and duty free. We're killing time. We're having a nice time in departures. And I have made a purchase uh, because I forgot my Bluetooth running headphones. I knew I'd forgotten something. There's always something. You can't not forget <laughs> anything. I maintain this. Um, but I'm glad that I now know that I've forgotten something because I can be like, oh, okay, that was the one thing. Easily replaceable. Got some new ones. Cute wireless ones. Um, uh, as in they don't have the wire that goes behind my head that the other ones have. And red. Because I need these for the 5K run that I'm doing a week tomorrow. So there you go. Good purchase. Good purchase. We're just chilling now. Yeah. Just chilling. There's a Ted Baker right there. I'm resisting the urge to go buy clothes because we are going to buy stuff in New York and my suitcase was pretty full on the way here. So, should probably resist the lure of yeah. the Ted Baker sale. Oh my god, hello. There's two of you. There's two of you in the mirror. We have come to Wagamama's for Wagamama breakfast, which is a concept you only actually get in airports, literally only in like three airports in the UK. Here, Gatwick and Manchester, I think. Uh, so we're having some Wagamama breakfast. We're not going crazy because we are getting breakfast on the flight, uh, but more than anything else, it's something it's something to do. And we were intrigued. So I've got a, um, this is a, a sausage and nori omelette bao bun situation going on here that I am very intrigued about and I look forward to eating. Okie dokie, Wagamama breakfast done, or pre-breakfast. I'm yeah. calling it pre-breakfast. Wake up snack, basically, is how I'm branding that meal. Uh, we have our gate, we are heading to our gate now. Um, I don't know if I said, but like, really slick process coming in this morning. Um, uh, really quick through security. 13, we're gate 13. 
Um, yeah, really, really slick going through security and bag drop. <laughs> Pays to be early. <laughs> and the sun is finally come out. It is bright outside. It was not bright outside when we left our hotel. Woo! We're on a moving walkway. Woohoo! We have arrived at our gate and this is our plane. This is the plane we're going to be flying on today. I don't think I've ever been on a plane this big. That's very exciting. Oh. Oh my god, hey. We're on a plane, you guys. Not only are we on a plane, we are in the air. We are actually... There you go. I mean, there's not a lot to see at the moment. <coughs> not a lot going on, but... We are in the sky. We're in the sky. And we're gonna... We're gonna watch some movies. I think we're gonna watch Lightyear. We're gonna do a coordinated movie. We have blankets going on. Living like kings. Living like kings on the Virgin Atlantic. Okay, update. It's like an hour into the flight? How long's it been? Yeah, an hour. Hour into the flight. We've got six hours left to go. We're bailing on the first film. I mean, like... digging into his, my meal has arrived. I was given a choice of a chicken tikka masala or a macaroni cheese. I've gone for the chicken tikka masala. Got a little bit of salad. We've got a bread roll. We've got butter. We've got cheese. I've got a, I've got a Jacob's, Jacob's cracker going on here. And a milk chocolate mousse with caramel sauce. And then we've also both gone for a can of Sauvignon Blanc. We may as well be at a press night with the little plastic cup. And wine in a can. What a concept. You have had that. I have had it now. We're still on the plane. We've got just under three hours until we get to New York. So we are not there yet. But where we are, we are here. We are approaching Ganta, Newfoundland. We're going to fly over it. How cool is that? Let me show you on the little in-flight display we have, which I also didn't know was going to be a thing. And it's very cool. Let me show you. Cable for these. So, if we watch another movie, which we still 
flight because still got many still hours. To go. I watched to go. Michael McIntyre's show. Yeah, I yeah. watched episode one of House of the Dragon, which was bloody. And then I found out that they had a reboot of Rugrats on. No, I loved Rugrats as a kid. Who but didn't love Rugrats as a kid? I started it. You did start with the reboot. The well, it's weird because it's CGI. Oh, is it like when they rebooted Fireman Sam? Yeah, no. It's not the same. Oh, what else have we just done? We've entered all the lotteries. We've entered all, all the lotteries for tomorrow afternoon. So we've now... Well, for shows that we are not already booked to see. Yeah, yeah, we've entered a bunch of lotteries. Um, uh, predominantly like Parade and Sweeney Todd are the ones we're trying to win. Because there's the last two on our hit list we don't have booked. Um, also, like, we went for six. Six. Dancing. dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, fingers crossed. It's going to be a right meet before we might be early. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit early. So, lots to look forward to for St. Patrick's Day in New York. And we will update you soon. We're going to go back to flying now. We are just over an hour away now. I'm on to episode two of House of the Dragon, having done a little bit of editing work. And Aaron has. Aaron, what have you got here? It's a gluten-free afternoon tea. It's a wrap. Lovely. Lovely. It does tickle me the way that they that they give you these little pre-packaged ingredients on a flight. But yeah, gluten-free afternoon tea. Hopefully, I will be getting something soon. I'm eagerly waiting to find out. Okie dokie, Paddy Considine and I have had another food delivery. Cute little box. Cute. Very cute little afternoon tea situation. I've been given a little, a little, I've been given a little pre-packed scone. There we go. We've got finger sandwiches. Very nice. I have some jam for the scone. I have some cream, some clotted cream, Cornish clotted cream. What else do we have in here? Ooh. We've got... What is this? What is this? Ooh! Chocky Scoffy! <laughs> Love that! Love that for me! A feast! A veritable feast! What time is it now? What time are we pretending it is? So we've ignored British time, and it's now... There you go, it's 11.18. I don't know that it feels like it's 11.18, but I'm insisting it is. Update from Aaron with the geography. We are just about to head into Massachusetts. Where's Boston? Wow. And then, and then we'll be on our way to New York. And we're going to be yeah. Yonkers. Up and over. Wow. There's a world outside of Yonkers. How exciting. So, a couple of times now, we've tried to look out. We really wanted to see Gander, Newfoundland. Yeah. Um, uh, and <laughs> every time we look out the window, it doesn't, it doesn't go well. I'm going to show you why. So, this, this is the issue. This is the problem. If you, can, if you can tell, it's so bright. It's so, so bright. I am glistening in the sunshine. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you're seeing anything through this camera. I'm not. I'm getting a whole lot of nothing right now getting very it's giving white a blank page or canvas okie dokie we are coming into land we think this is this is long island oh no it's gone i have no idea where we're flying over at this point but there are so many pools it's fascinating so many golf courses and we seem to be getting lower this is very exciting we have landed. We're here. The plane has come to a halt. I'm probably going to put... Ooh! A literal halt. I lied. <laughs> the plane is still moving. Uh, we're probably going to... I'm probably going to put this away in my bag because we now need to get off and do, like, the laborious yeah. arrival security and process. And figure out where we've got to go. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you again <coughs> very soon. Very soon. And you get... To, you, you're the lucky ones because you get to do this instantly. And for us, it's going to... It's going to take some time. Yeah. But we'll be with you shortly. Where are we, Aaron? We're in New York. Where are we right now specifically? On a air train. On a, on a train, yeah, I have no, I don't have any idea, really, but we are on our way out of the station, finally. I'll tell you more about that momentarily, but it is hours later. I have yet to see any major New York skyline things. 
but it's an exciting time. Okie dokie, we have arrived via the air train to a station called Jamaica. I didn't know that New York had a Jamaica, so this is news to me, and now I think we're going to queue for some kind of a ticket. Aaron has a very good grasp on the travel situation, so I'm deferring to him. But hopefully, it's taking us to Manhattan. Okay. Uh -oh. Very weird thing just happened. So we were queuing to buy tickets for the air train to get out of the station. To buy to leave, because you pay to exit. And then uh, the nice man working there said all the fees are waived and they opened the gates and everyone just got to leave. So I feel like we're having good luck so far in the state of New York. We will, we will see how it continues. We're going onto the subway now. Yay, if I didn't have a suitcase with me, I would swing around and do the choreography from... Oh, uh, the green signs, I've just seen. Where's the green signs? Green road signs. Oh, I saw some of those from the air train. Yes. <coughs> oh, a pizzeria, a Chipotle. We have Chipotle, that's not that novel, but it's still exciting. Look at the traffic lights. Look at the school buses. Oh, I know I saw one earlier. Oh, yeah, it's all very cool. American. This is fun. Oh my God, hey. Hello. Let's check in. So, it's hours later. Um, you are so lucky that you've got to skip the queue to leave JFK Airport and go through, uh, I guess, what do they call it? Customs? Border Control? Yeah. It's not TSA. Customs. Customs. Yeah. Customs. yeah. We were in that queue for literally three hours. Almost exactly three hours. And it's good that our flight was an hour early. Yeah, yeah. that helped. And we don't really have anything planned for the day until the evening. So, you know, had it been really speedy, it would have been too early for our hotel. So this was, this was good in a way. But that was a lot of standing, and we're very warm, and I'm ready for a shower. You're ready for a lie down. Yeah. Uh, but we then got onto the air train, which you saw, and we're now onto the subway, and it looks so much like the subway from Rent, you guys. I could do the Santa Fe choreography, not Santa Fe from Newsies, not to be confused. Um, but I won't, because I have a suitcase, and I just feel that would complicate things. Um, and also people may stare. Look, look at that platform. I'm going to show you the subway platform. Oh, that subway platform. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that very exciting? I'm excited. Um, it is a bit overwhelming because I still haven't seen the Manhattan skyline and it feels American-y, but all at once I feel like we're going to pop up in the middle of Manhattan. It's just going to be like, whoa. It's going to be like Captain America waking up in the future in Times Square. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. Um, but yes, I was going to say something else to you, but I'm overwhelmed. I can't remember what it was. Oh, no sign of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, but we, we haven't been in the central part of Manhattan yet. But... Still. So we're still on the subway. We got on here, I think, yeah. here. And we have gone all the way over there there to the middle of Manhattan which hopefully we're about to see in a few moments. Okay, we have emerged from the subway and we're a little bit turned around but we think we've sorted ourselves out. We haven't had like the oh my god it's the iconic view moment but we did both do a little bit of a task because the Eugene O'Neill where the Book of Mormon play is playing is right there. It's right there. Look at this! Look at this! Look at the view from my face right now! The Eugene O'Neill! Book of Mormon. It's a Broadway theatre. It's the first Broadway theatre I've ever seen with my eyes. We still have to go to uh, the hotel right now because we still have our suitcases, but we've seen a Broadway theatre. We've done it, Aaron. We can go home. <laughs> and we've made it. Very nearby, we have the Civilian Hotel. Um, but we're here. We've arrived at our hotel in New York. What is life? I'm still processing this moment. We have arrived in our room at the Civilian Hotel. Look at that stagey curtain above the bed. So many details to show you, uh, which we shall we've just dump down our suitcases. I'll give you a proper hotel tour at some point if I get five seconds today. Uh, but this is the view <laughs> from our hotel. Um, I can see two theatres. I can see the, I think that's the Longacre Theatre. And I think that's Leopoldstadt that is playing there. And then I think that's the Walter Kerr. Is that Hades Town yeah, at the Walter Kerr? Wow. And then I see I see a bus ad for Shucked down there, I think is what that is. And there's the, oh no, I see they're just hanging up on the street. And then you can see down the street a little bit that way and that way. Wow. 
Wow, it's Manhattan. It's Manhattan and we're in it. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this that is waiting for us. Oh, look at this. Welcome to Civilian, Mickey Joe. We are so thrilled to be hosting you, Civilian Team. Mickey Joe Boucher, that is me. That is me. And we have a little, a little cool basket of things, one of which is in an ice bucket. I liked that. That makes me very happy. We've got boxed water. Love that for us. And some interesting snacks and bits and pieces. Oh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy by this news. We have a hotel. It has a bathroom. It has a bed. And we're inside and we're in Manhattan. What can we see from the other window? Let's have a look out here. Much the same. <laughs> Much the same. Wow. Ooh. Okie dokie. So, um, today was basically um, all about just getting here and arriving. We hadn't originally planned to do a show because we thought jet lag and we'll be exhausted. We changed our watches on the flight because we got advice from someone who has just been over here. Um, they said that they did that and it helps them adjust to the time zone. So according to my phone and my watch now, it's like five o'clock. And I feel like it kind of feels like five o'clock, honestly. It helps that the meals we had on the flight were like ambiguous. So I didn't tie them to specific meals. I'm now like dinner hungry. So I'm gonna go have dinner and hopefully I don't crash out. I don't feel exhausted, even though we've been traveling a lot. Um, but also maybe I'll take half a caffeine pill to keep me awake uh, because we actually ended up planning a show. Uh, we're going to see Chicago. So first show on Broadway, we are going to see Chicago this evening. I can't see it from the window, but I looked on a map and it's super nearby. Um, we're on the 21st floor, by the way. I don't know if I've ever been on a 21st floor in my life. Uh, certainly not staying on one, so that's quite exciting. We're not the highest building, not, not by far. I'm looking up to all of these other skyscrapers. This is very cool. I will say still no evidence of St. Patrick's Day. I'm seeing, I'm seeing very little St. Patrick's Day on the streets. I was promised more New York. But yes, so we've arrived. I think we're gonna grab some food. Chicago is at eight. So we've got two and a half hours, couple of hours. Um, there's some food downstairs we might go and grab that's quick and easy. And I want to get changed, I want to have a shower. And then I can contemplate going back outside. <laughs> Oh my god, hey! Evening outfit reveal! Erin is wearing a nice shirt. You will see more of it later. Yes. I'm in a sparkly bomber jacket, which is a low effort fancy, and I thought would be useful for this trip. Um, look at the way it shimmers. Oh, so pretty. And I've got my Donald Duck lounge fly, which is a good size for a vlogging camera and a playbill, and maybe a little bit of merch. Um, we've had less time than we would have liked to get ready, but I think we've done a good job. We've done well. To yeah. say that we've literally flown here today. Yeah, and we're still navigating around. I see Chicago, we're already here. We're so close by. This hotel was the best idea. It's situated so, so well for us because yeah. we're nearby to all the shows and we can have this crazy hectic schedule <laughs> and still have plenty of time because we're so near the shows. We wanted to grab food, so we went down to Emmy oh, Squared. Ah, oh, there you go, some St. Patrick's Day recognition. We went down to Emmy Squared Pizza, which is right next to our hotel. So nice. So good. Free. Yeah, we had a nice gluten-free square pizza with a nice cheese pull situation. Oh. It was a, what was it called? It had a name. It had a woman's name. Oh. It was a Miranda. It was, it a, was. Miranda. a Miranda on a gluten-free base, and it had like hot honey on it, which is appropriate because yes. hot honey rag, Chicago. Oh yeah. Yeah, I there you go. Of that. <laughs> and uh, Zia fries as well. We shared one pizza between us and some Zia fries. And then we um, we got it boxed. Hey, Book of Mormon. So cool show. Oh my gosh. Um, so we're on the wrong side of the road, but the yeah. ambassador <laughs> is over there for Chicago. Our first show on Broadway. I'm going to show oh, it to you God. now. Here it is. Oh my gosh. Gosh. There it is, the Ambassador Theatre in Lights, our first show on Broadway. Can you believe what is life? Okay, I was showing you the view from the other side, but this is the view. Here you go. This is the Ambassador Theatre where Chicago is playing. Look at that, that is stylish. They aren't letting people in yet, which is fine. 
because we're here. Okie dokie, here we have the company board featuring a lot of exciting names. I see James T. Lane, I see Bianca American, I see Jinx Monsoon. Very exciting. And Charlotte D'Amboise, of course, there she is. How exciting. So, we're in the theatre. We are in the Ambassador's Theatre. We have picked up our tickets from the box office. I haven't told you where we're sat. Yeah. We're in the orchestra, which is American for stalls. I know this. And we're in F10 and 12. F10 and 12, which are together, because there's a weird, like, even numbering thing. Yeah. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Exciting. But we're in row F of the orchestra for our first ever Broadway show, just holding the tickets and getting them scanned for our first Broadway show. Oh, oh, my brain is exploding. We're by the merch booth. Let me show you the merch. Okay, you can see we have a uh, hoodie going on here. We have a Chicago Broadway t-shirt. Look at that. We have a Jinx Monsoon poster. We have a face mask. We have a baseball cap. We have some sheet music as well. And then over here, we've got... What have we got here? We've got a mug. Got a little... A little magnet there, a little enamel pin badge. Very cute, very cute. Okay, we've been to the bar and got ourselves a beverage yeah. because when you buy drinks on Broadway, you get the cup. Yeah. You get the cup. So that's built into the price, which makes me feel a little bit better. But we've got to double and we're going to share it in a Chicago cup. This is Roxy Hart's Killer Cosmo. I love a themed drink. It's got blueberry flavored vodka, which I'm obsessed with, triple sec cranberry, and lime juice. I feel like I'm going to like this. And also, so I'm still just. So <laughs> we just met the company manager who yeah. was lovely. And I just had the loveliest chat with the guy on the bar. Everyone's so nice. Yeah. Everyone's very nice here. Um, Slightly overwhelming. We're a bit overwhelmed. We need to go get a playbill and yeah. then we're going to sit down and just decompress and yeah. drink our killer Cosmo. Okay, I'm like close to tears, but I'm powering through for the sake of journalism. This is the view from my seat. Um, if anyone's interested in that, I'm in F12 of the stalls at the Ambassador Theatre for Chicago on Broadway. Mm -hmm. This is the Ambassador Theatre. It is the Ambassador. And then we have the Ambassadors Theatre. We do have the Ambassadors Theatre. This is just the Ambassador. Right. See, it says it on the playbill. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, this is the page that it is all about. Look at this. Charlotte D'Amboise. Legendary Charlotte D'Amboise. Starring as Roxy Hart. I can't focus, neither can my camera, apparently. There we go, Charlotte D'Amboise and Bianca American. James T. Lane, who I saw in the Scottsboro Boys in the West End, and I loved Jinx Monsoon. All these amazing people. I am very excited for Chicago.
so here, here I am doing my first Broadway show, and there's plenty of people I'm sure out there, and I've met countless people at the stage doors um, who look up to, you know, the current performers. I surround myself with a core group of people that understand that I may have to be doing mime for a year when I'm on Broadway. Like, um, I have my sister, Kathy and Jimmy, here tonight. Woo! love and accept me for who I am. I talk to my mom, it keeps it real all the time. Um, I meditate, and I eat food and watch Netflix, and I just, you know, I have a great man in my life now, and I just, I just, I just do that. Night or an early bird? Are a late, are you a late night or an early bird? Are you a night owl or an early bird? Mm -hmm. and that, that was an owl. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. Me too. Favorite snack? Oh, combos. The nacho cheese flavor. I'm a pepperoni pizza girl. That's okay. Do you like the pretzels or the crackers? Pretzels! Oh, I like your time. I also like Slurpees. I love Slurpees. Oh, favorite Slurpee flavor is next question. Coke? <laughs> it's Coke Slurpee and then do what I do next time. You do Coke up to here and then fill the top with pina colada or cherry. Yeah. Vitamin C rose, so if you want to help balance it out with healthy or not. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Way to ruin a good thing. <laughs> I'm talking about the LGBTQAI plus community. <laughs> like many marginalized communities are still fighting for equality and their rights in 2023. And what keeps getting thrown in our face as a community is that it's their religious freedom. Well, I'm a drag queen on a Broadway stage with a famous Christian woman who has never used her faith as a weapon against her that there is a right side to this argument and a wrong side to this argument, you tell them, you know, well, I'm not gonna say that on the mic, but you can tell them, yeah, well, you know what? If Kristen Chenoweth and Jinx Mon Sue, <laughs> I almost said my own name wrong. <laughs> shared experience, then there is no reason why anyone should try to use religion as a justification for hate. It's Honestly, I am so glad that you brought it up, and I will just end, end, end that little statement with, um, and Kathy and I talk about this all the time, as a Christian woman, it has always been so fascinating to me that people are fascinated by me not uh, loving, loving the LGBTQIA community because I just think, I always think, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? He would fight hate with love. He would pray those, and sometimes I want to say, you know, read between the lines. <laughs> I just really, and this is the real authentic me right now, I just want to fight it with love. And anybody that hasn't seen that, just try to fight it with love, and even if it's spit in your face, because then what do they have? What do they have? What can they say? God is here in this room right now, and I, I know some people don't believe in Jesus, and believe me, I'm wrapping it up. <laughs> For those of us who do, we need to speak out a little bit more. But,
watched our first Broadway show. We have just watched a Broadway show, which was fascinating. And then, and then what happened? And then Chris and Chenoweth came out, and and they did a Q and A, and Chris and Chenoweth was there. Oh my God! Okay, uh, okay. So that has been our first day in New York. How many hours have we been awake? It started uh, to hit me in the show. I started to have moments, and thank yeah, God yeah. Chicago is a show that I know. But there were bits where I started to go, uh, yeah. I don't think I missed anything. Not really, but there was some there was some touch and go moments. But what a first show to see we on Broadway. And we just met Jinx Monsoon. Ah, oh, very kind um, the team at the show that so we met. Uh, let us linger afterwards <laughs> and meet Jinx Monsoon. I will overlay the selfie that we have here. Um, but yeah, what an exceptional, incredible, and very long day yeah. that we have had. I mean, if we woke up at 5 a.m. UK time, that was 1 a.m. here time, it's now, what, 11? Yeah. So 22 hours. We've been awake for 22 oh my gosh. consecutive hours, and we're now going to go back to the hotel because there's a bottle of Prosecco in a bucket of ice if we can stay awake long enough and to drink it. And we've got chips. We've still got our fries. We've still got half a box of Zia fries. Ah, oh, a feast awaits us. And the Toblerone we couldn't eat on the plane. So many options await us back at the hotel, yes. back at the civilian. And we're on our way to go and eat them. Thank you very much, Broadway. Okie dokie. We are back in the hotel. We've unpacked, because we barely got through it before we left. But we've unpacked. We've had some boxed water. And we have now collapsed. It is just about midnight, but we've been awake for almost an entire day. And yeah, so, but it's been a good day. Yeah. It's been a long day. It's been a productive day. We've got a lot done. We went, we went to a different country. Um, yeah. Should we do Rose and Thorn of the day? Okay. What was the highlight moment of your day? You can go first. Walking into the Broadway theatre for the first time and being like, Oh my gosh, we we're right to take off seeing a Broadway show. That was pretty magical. Because I, I feel like it partly sung if it were in New York, but that was the moment when I was like, is it still in the West End? Yeah. That was, like, was that was pretty magical. If not that, then mine would be getting to meet Jinx Monsoon after Chicago. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I was all down for stage dooring. I was like, let's have a Broadway stage door experience. Uh, but then we did not. We just got a little, little VIP meet and greet beforehand, which was very nice. Um, and yeah, what was the what was the low point of the day? The wait in JFK. Oh, it probably was the wait in JFK. Like <laughs> the early wake up is one thing, but like standing for three hours, and then when you get to the point where you do it and you kind of like do everything to go through, and you're like, this took a maximum. Or five minutes. Yep. Like, we had queued for three hours. Yep. For a three to five minute, like, interaction. Yeah. And I, I know you do that for, like, Disney characters, but not three hours normally. I would agree. That was probably the low the low point. Um, I've got a good question. What was your favourite plain food? <laughs> what was the best plain food that you got? Mine was the scone. I liked the scone. Although I got cream everywhere and I had to end up eating the remainder of the jam like a froob. <coughs> like a like a jammy froob. Um but it was nice. It was nice. I don't know. Mine was all okay. Like the thing with mine was like it was all Mediterranean or something with a spice. Mm -hmm. And there's someone that like stuff with spices is like I'm like ha 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 ha. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, <clears throat> and I feel like sometimes, sometimes they're all then, like, I basically kind of had versions of the same thing in different styles. Yeah. But these. It was all okay. These these fries were good. They're a little bit. Yeah. Soggy now. Mm. And the pizza was fab. They the gluten free pizza. Yeah. Possibly one of the best gluten free pizzas I've had, for being like Moorish and really thick. Mm. The themed drink at Chicago, rate out of five. 3.5. Mine's a four. I really liked the blueberry vodka. Yeah, I think it's just because it's not 
It's probably more of a your taste than a me taste. Mm-hmm. Because it's that kind of sour... Do you have, like, a lime juice in it? I think that's I think what I didn't so. like. I think if it had been a lemonade, I'd have been all over that. <clears throat> I think my only thing with it is that it's not, like, a Moorish drink. Sure. It's more of a, like, you kind of use it, but then you've had it kind of thing, and then I shouldn't... <laughs> Like, it's one of those drinks that makes you thin thirsty. Mm-hmm. And that's my thing, is, like, it's not a drink that, like... It's a good marketing technique. But it yeah. fits the show. But yes, that's been our first day of many in New York. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you again tomorrow. Oh, my God, hey! Oh. Good morning! It is another... No, I'm good, thanks. We don't have time for a hop-on, hop-off bus tour today, uh, because it's another exciting and fun-filled day in New York City. We're in Manhattan. We've woken up early, although we've got a decent amount of sleep for anyone on jet lag watch. I woke up instinctively around half six, but I set a 7 a.m. alarm. Yeah, woke up at seven. Seven. yeah, my alarm was gonna go off at seven because I got plans. I have plans today. We're walking down to the Bernard B. Jacobs Theatre to see what the rush line is like for parade. It's a Saturday. There's two shows today. It could be long. It could be long. It's just opened to some great reviews. Maybe other people have the same idea and want those sweet, sweet $30 tickets. But it's just three blocks down from our hotel, which is a system I now understand. Oh my God, it's six! Oh, it is six. Six you know is what? behind us. Six is over there. Wow. I'll come back and show you six later, but my gosh and my goodness the things you can discover on Broadway. Wow, look at all these taxis, so authentic. Look at that fire truck with flags on the back. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I feel like I do look quite sleepy, but that'll be more because of how little sleep I got yesterday than uh, not getting any last night. This is a new coat I have brought for New York. I'll show you more clothes at some point when we have a second. I also still haven't shown you our hotel, but all in good time, people. We have we have shows to try and see. We've seen our first Broadway show now, so now we're just like veteran pros at this point. So, Bernard B. Jacobs Theatre for parade, hopefully. Okay, we are at the Bernard B. Jacobs Theatre. We're like ninth or tenth in line, but I've done a random survey of the people ahead of us because I was curious um, and like a handful of people are going for the evening show we want the matinee and even if they run out of rush tickets for the matinee I don't think it's like Sweeney Todd levels of sold out I feel like there's some other tickets available so we're just going to see what else would we be doing for three hours on a Saturday morning in New York plenty of things is the answer but instead we are standing on the sidewalk standing on the sidewalk um, I can say that now because that's what it's called here and queuing for tickets. Behind us, Ben Platt and Michaela Diamond. It's a sign, and in front of us, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Guess what theater I'm standing in front of and starting to break out in a rash. It is the Imperial Theater, where Bad Cinderella is playing. Just to the left of it, you can't see from here, there's a massive billboard. In fact, this is a very exciting street here. We have the music box, where Danson is playing. That is where Pippin was. Life of Pi is there at the Schoenfeld. I can't see what's at the booth. Kimberly oh, Kimberly Akimbo is over there at the booth. What an exciting road. Street, I should say. How exciting. Okay, so, update. If anyone's curious about the rush situation for Parade, um, when we got here, we were like 10th in line, um, but that's counting a couple of people who are here together, so it's not like they're all buying pairs. Like I said, I did a survey to see which performances people were buying for, um, and we, I think, got here like almost exactly at 7.30. Um, I wanted to get here a bit before, but time got away from me, as did skincare. So, it is now just after 8 a.m., and there are as many people behind us as there were in front of us. So there were about seven or eight people, I think nine now, nine people behind us in the queue for rush tickets for Parade. So popular, definitely popular. But there's two shows today and it's a Saturday and it's just opened. So all of this is to be expected. If you went midweek, um, uh, maybe midweek matinee day, probably the best day to go, so on a Wednesday. Um, but I don't know, this is my first time being here, so that's just my assumption. Look at all these yellow taxis behind me. Look at this! 
Look at this. Better view of the Imperial now for Bad Cinderella. Oh, you can see the billboard I was talking about. There it is. There it is. Okie dokie. Oh, it's brighter now. It's brighter. I feel like it's gotten colder since we got here or we were just so in shock from how tired we were. Um, but I went back to the hotel yeah, to get some gloves and to get air in a Starbucks. Uh, but we've mostly just been in line, killing time, posting on socials, tweeting about how amazing our trip already is. And I don't know if you can see behind me, but this line goes back a very long way. It goes back past Life of Pi. And on the other side of the road, we have a comparatively shorter line for Bad Cinderella, presented without comment. Um, but it's, I think, about half past nine now. I could have checked before I started filming. It is, it's half past nine, 30 minutes. I like our chances for getting tickets. I don't want to jinx it, but hopefully, hopefully we might get some seats for Parade this afternoon. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe!